Okay, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to the hopeful elect of Yahshua Allah, the elect of Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, Kal Halal Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rukakudash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach Yahshua Allah well, leading the flock by example because they are the true teachers for our nation on earth today. Enough respect, peace, blessings, and salutations to the Akim pushing this 100% gospel the world over, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's sake. A few sisters who are, the right, who are doing the right thing to us say Shalom. May the blessings of election fall upon your households. I don't want rattles out, which means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So, you know, as we inch closer, okay, to the return of Yahusha Hamashiach, okay, all you can see and hear about is just wickedness increasing, okay, turmoil, trouble, all right, crime increasing. You know, especially in the times that we're in, the, you know, the inflationary times. All right. Now, as you can see, this is a headline from headlines.org. End time headlines.org. Excuse me. Okay. And the title is Grocery Stores in New York City, Babylon the Great, are now considering locking up food because theft has become so rampant. Dated January the 12th, 2023, it's a hopeful year that all prophecies come to pass. So if we read on, food has become a prime target for thieves, and that should deeply alarm all of us. Once upon a time, shoplifting was a minor nuisance for most retailers in the United States, but today the game has completely changed. Highly organized gangs of thieves are systematically looting stores all over the country, and this is costing retailers billions upon billions of dollars. That's right. Okay. Yeah, well, it's a theft. Theft is, you know, increasing dramatically. Alright. You know, and it's just going to get worse on. Alright, on out. It's going to get worse on. Alright, we're not going back to 2022, 2021, 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017, no. Things are just going to get worse and worse because you know what? The law is slack in society. Okay, the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Esau does not uphold them or even push them forth. First of all, he's the wicked. Okay. He's a <coughs> vessel made to dishonor, made of dishonor. Okay. That's why, you know, people are, see, when, you know, when the wicked bear through, people mourn. Alright, but when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Okay. That's why people are more depressed than ever. People are committing suicide. Suicide rates are going up. That's why crime's going up. Because it's a chain reaction that causes, okay, people to, you know, commit, commit crimes and commit terrible acts. So it says, authorities call it organized retail crime, but I call it complete and utter lawlessness when you have large groups of people storming retail stores all over the nation on a regular basis. That is a major crisis. Originally, a lot of these gangs were primarily targeting goods that could be resold on the internet very easily. Right? So, you know, you've got these, these criminals that make a job out of doing this, out of theft, so they can make, you know, profit from selling those goods online. Okay? So they're already wrong for stealing and then they're <laughs> selling stolen goods. But now a lot of grocery stores are being targeted and food is being stolen on a scale that we've never seen before. Right? And it's about to get worse. In New York City things have gotten so bad that some stores are, are thinking of implementing dramatic measures. The, ho the following comes from a Fox News article entitled NYC Grocery Stores Considered Locking Up Food Due to Rampant Theft. Workers are traumatized. Shampoo, toothpaste, and razor blades are all items that grocery stores have increasingly started locking behind counters. Soon that list might include food. Right, and food is a must have, of course, or else you can't survive without it. Okay? And when people can't eat, they can't think, and they're not themselves. Okay? And when it comes to, you know, looking after their families, man, then they're going to do whatever it takes, you know, whatever's in their strength to to get that and to protect their loved ones and themselves okay people have no fear of coming uh, to your store and stealing said Nelson 
of the National Supermarket Association. Our employees are terrified. We have young people that come to work, young cashiers who work part time. These kids are 16 to 17 years old. It's really by that age you're an adult. Well, before that, you know, 12, especially if you're a man. Okay? But in this society, you know, they, <clears throat> they view it differently. So it's run by Esau, Eden, the wicked, the devil that the Bible speaks of. When I first started warning that we are becoming a Mad Max society, a lot of people thought that I was exaggerating. Sadly, the breakdown of law and order just continues to accelerate in many of our largest cities. In fact, it is being reported that grand larcenies were up 80% in New York City last year. Okay. You know, so things ain't getting better, man. It's far from getting better. Okay, that's why we always harping on repentance. You know, for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as you speckled birds, all right? Because you're the biblical Hebrew Israelites, man. All right? So salvation is available for you, all right? So you got to repent. Because if you know these stars are a target, but then they're gonna start targeting people's places. Uh, especially if they have word that someone, you know, owns a lot of goods, a lot of necessities. So this is Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 21, milk scripture. And it reads, Behold, victuals, it says victuals, but apparently it's pronounced victuals, shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow. Evils meaning bad times, alright. Shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine great confusion and we're in a time of famine and pestilences and those two okay put together is a deadly a deadly combination okay cost of things going up just that just exacerbates it even worse okay right, and there's already a lack of things on the shelves anyway as it is and you know you're going to have people raiding one another's houses. Verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the dead shall be cast out of dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. Right, so people are going to start, you know, taking the, uh, the law into their own hands. All right. And that's the that's the position that you're in. Go back and finish the rest of that article. So it reads New York City Mayor Eric Adams has made a point of combating the repeat offences. Criminals believe our criminal justice system is a joke. Adams said in comments referring to a serial intruder who was arrested and released twenty six times. Those arrested for grand larceny go to court, get released, and on their way home from court, they're doing another grand larceny. According to the New York Police Department, grand larceny's thefts of $1,000 were up 80% in New York City last year, only an 80% increase. Yes, that sounds perfectly normal to me in other areas of the country. Shortages are the big news right now. That's right, man. You know, Yahweh Shemi al is pronouncing judgment across the board, across the world, everywhere. I never imagined that Costco would li totally run out of eggs, right? Sign of famine in early 2023. But this has actually happened at many of their stores. Okay. And what's not running out, uh, you know, as another note, is increasing in price. So it might be, you know, a few dollars for eggs. Okay. And then all of a sudden, because of inflation, you know, it might be $6 for one egg or something. Might even be fifteen dollars, right, for a small pack. Okay, so that's the times that we're in. As I discussed yesterday, bird flu is one of the factors that is causing supplies of eggs to get tighter. Right, see, pestilence on, you know, with these animals as well, will obviously cause a shortage in that, you know, particular uh, food. But as the farmer in this video explains, it is certainly not the only factor, right? So it's a, you know, a domino effect. 
if you have animals being riddled with disease, okay, then of course, you know, the farmer's going to be affected by that. And then you've got things like crop failure, okay. So, you know, things are just going to get worse. And there's many precepts that could be brought out, man. Many precepts. Don't, in, uh, don't um, intend to make this long. Hope, you know, Lord willing, the point is made. So, second edge of chapter 15, let's get straight to the point in verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world of sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. That's right, man. Because the wickedness was, you know, polluting the earth. It's only righteous that judgment is, is played out and executed. Go down to uh, verse 14. It reads, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe oh, is an old English word. Uh, meaning misery, death, and destruction. Verse 15, For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and if one people shall stand up and fight against another, the sword's in their hands, and that's what we're coming to. You're going to see that more frequently. Okay, for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings or their princes, in the course of their actions they stand in their power. And that's right, man, they're not going to care what the government says. Whatever curfew or laws the government's tried to push out, they're just gonna disregard it and go by what they you know what they want to do verse 17 a man shall decide to go into the city and shall not be able all right you're gonna have checkpoints all right area is gonna be sectioned off okay that's why you watch movies like the purge all right that's that's like a a brief you know illustrated example you know of such things to take place Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbour, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's right, man. So your best friends, that you've been friends with for, you know, many, many years. Hey, man, they're going to turn on one another. Okay. As if they never knew each other. You know, these these are all signs that was, you know, prophesied from, um, <clears throat> you know, from <clears throat> from when uh, the disciples, you know, privately asked Yahushai of the end time signs. Okay, we go Matthew is it twenty four, verse three. And as he, Yahushai, sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and then, and of the end of the world. Alright, and really when Yahushai came on a scene, that began the end of, you know, we were, we were in the end times. Okay. And Yahushai answered and said unto them, Take ye that no man deceive you. You know what? Read verse 8, jump to verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And we can jump down again to verse 21. Right, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor shall, not ever shall be. And except those days be shortened, there shall be no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That's right, and, you know. The days are going by quicker. Okay. know things that <coughs> you know ramping up prophecies are coming to pass a lot quicker all right you can't even keep up with you know current updates current prophetic updates at all this is Daniel 12 and 1 all right and at that time shall Mayaka Allah stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Okay, so we're coming to a point where, 
you know, we're dwelling in the, uh, <clears throat> we're coming to a time where it's going to be way, way worse than there was a time before regarding, you know, terrible events like World War One, World War Two, the transatlantic slave trade, okay, 70 AD, alright, and here's a preset for that, the book of Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Yaquab's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay. You know, if you're not rooted in Yahweh, Shem Yashai, okay, then, hey, you're going to be taken. Along with this world, man, you're going to be taken and snared. Okay. Yep. Just wanted to, I saw that article, so it was on my spirit to do it. Lord willing, that was uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Yasha Allah. Again, double honor to the apostles, the great millstone, who rule and teach Yasha Allah well. In closing, like to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh. Basham Yahusha, Basham Rukakwadash. Yahweh Basham Yahusha, Basham Rukakwadash. Brakatham. May the election, may the blessing of election fall upon your households. So with that, Shalawam, Kwam Yasha Allah. We got next, Lord willing. Wa Ababa Ba Shalawam Shabbat Shalawam to the elect.